Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. My name is Jesse, and I'm the worship pastor, and I will be sharing your word for the day. Today, we are in Matthew 20, 17 through 19, and we see that Jesus foretells of his death a third time. So let's read. And as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the 12 disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. We see that while Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, he prophesied his death and resurrection and tells his apostles that he will be betrayed delivered over to the chief priests and scribes and condemned to death. He will also be turned over to the Gentiles to be mocked, flogged, and crucified. But he will rise again from the dead on the third day. He endured betrayal, shame, mocking, pain, suffering, and crucifixion so that we could be forgiven, have hope, and eternal life through him. He defeated death and sin. We're reminded that his love and passion for us was far greater than anything he would endure. What an incredible sacrifice, a reminder to give praise daily for what he has done for us. Forgiven, redeemed, filled with his Holy Spirit, loved, given a new story, and eternal life with God. When the hardships and trials arrive, praise him. When the joys and successes in life arrive, praise him. Do not let this world, a person, or the enemy take your joy of the Lord. He is for you, he is with you, and he loves you. Take time this week to remember what Jesus has done for you in your life. Give him praise and gratitude. It gives me so much peace knowing that God has a plan. He's in control and he is working for our good for those who love him. We know that this life can be hard at times. We know that our time here is limited. So I pray you stay faithful, obedient, trusting God fully, and that you are filled with his peace, joy, strength to endure well, and hope to keep going. Don't give up. He's not giving up on you. What do you see today in this scripture? Share your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you how God is speaking to you through his word and spirit. Have a great day, and I hope that you have a blessed week. Thank you.